Okay, so originally we were changing the amount and the amount was bad and then we found out the bracket was broken. So we got a new bracket off eBay. Um, nobody had it. Um, so I took off this 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter down below. Took out this connector here and this is like a little connector to the connector there, uh, like a little clip. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove this, loosen up this uh, screw for this duct pipe here. So a little bit more. There it goes, and then we can just yank the hole. It's held in by grommets in these little uh, bolts. So once that is out, we should be able to get this whole thing out. And let's take a look. What we got down here? The hair side was broken. Uh, mount bracket right there that's what it looked like right there so we're gonna replace this baby with a new one so we got a new one right here so there's our new one the bracket broke but we got a new one that's fine so we do need to put a floor jack in the bottom there's a ground here make sure you put that ground back in and this is a weird bolt the mount is still good mount is still fine okay we're gonna look from the bottom the mount is still fine, okay? The freaking mount never broke, but the bracket broke. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is right now, let's take off this little guy. And we're gonna put a floor jack in the bottom, like we had originally. I'm just gonna let this baby sit right here, that's fine. And we'll floor jack it, and we'll remove this little guy. And uh, we're gonna have to loosen these up a bit so we can line everything, but let's see how it goes. This right here, I'm going to show you guys how to take this off. Um, should be, shouldn't be that hard. Um, so what I'm going to do here is, um, you see I use a 17 millimeter. If it comes off. Okay, well, you know what, I'll use this to put it right back in. Then you will see uh, how to take that off. Okay, so we're most definitely going to have to take this guy off. So this got to come off anyway, because we, we're going to keep the mount there. So, no, 17 millimeter, snap on, perfect size there. So, what I'm going to do here is, take it easy, smack this on, as hard as you can. And then, what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to put our impact on on the top. Okay, that didn't work. Let's do attempt number two, or we'll just call up another mount. That'd be another way to do it. Go. Okay, it's not all the way yet. Alright. Here goes attempt number two. Put down force on it. Okay. So the whole mount gotta go. The mount spun with it. Okay, I felt like the mount spun with it. I'm not sure. Did it spun with it? Yeah, the mount is weak, so we're gonna order up another one. Okay, so if spun from the back, the old one I took apart, I had to hold it with the white strip, so it's a weak mount anyway, that's fine. So what we're gonna do here is uh, we're gonna get um we're gonna get our swivel and we're gonna remove the three bolts around the bracket. This is one. Remember, we got the floor jack lifted, so if I pump more, you will see the whole thing move around. That's one bolt. Let me go over here, get another one out. That's two. And then there's one all the way on this side here. Very easy to access. Um, so make sure you measure the bolts, so if they're the different length. Keep them in order. So far, these two are the same. And let's see this third one here. Same. So three bolts are same, and there's our broken bracket. Okay, there it is. So the mount itself is done. Deal. Okay. Yep. Yeah, it was gonna go anyway. So good thing it broke. So 14, 14, and 14 all around. 
Let me switch on my side. Okay, so I got three bolts all around. And they are uh, 14 millimeter. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fish out this hard one over here. So it's in the same spot as this right here. There you go. And we drop the bolt to the floor. We're gonna pick that up. That's two. And that's three. So this little guy, this little guy, and the mount just falls down. That's fine. And there's our mount. It's broken internally. Yeah, even though if I would have replaced it, it would have been a shitty job to do. So there it is. I'm gonna look for that bolt and I'm gonna wait for the new transmission mount. And we'll get the job going in a little bit. Okay, so we got a new mount right here in the back. Uh, here's a part number on this baby. West start. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this out of the back. Crazy back. So this is what it is. So baby sits in there just like that. So remember the three balls I dropped one and I picked it up. Um in so don't lock them up I mean do lock them up you're gonna have to because the bracket okay yeah don't lock them up so we can move it around a bit so don't lock them up yet so what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the new bracket and we're gonna put this baby right here just like that and everything should be good okay everything should just line up we can reach all the bolts around this block and everything. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna put one of this. We're gonna put another one of those bolts in there. And remember, things might not line. You might have to move the engine and everything around. That's why we're gonna leave these bolts loose because once we line everything and we get all the bolts in, all we gotta do is tighten them up and everything should be good to go. So I'm gonna be using a uh, this old bolt, again, you can match something up to fit in there, but make sure you catch the threads very well. So I'm gonna have an issue here, and it's not the bolt. Might be the mount. There you go, you're gonna hold it up a bit and get this bolt in. I thought I was having trouble, but no troubles here. So make sure or all the bolts are in. One, two, three. So what I'm gonna do here is, I am gonna jack up the engine in a moment. But right now, I'm gonna lock up three bolts on the mount first, the 14 millimeters. My tool is ready to do that. There you go. Okay, now what I wanna do is, I wanna jack up the transmission so it can sit flush against that and what we're gonna do here is we're gonna switch up our socket to a 17 millimeter um, I'm gonna lock up the three bolts that goes into the bracket there you go one two and this is the last one. There you go, they're the same size. All of them are the same size. So the last thing I wanna do here is, um, I wanna switch up my socket here. And we're gonna put a, that is a 17 millimeter right there. And, this baby is, it's done, okay, it's done. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, do not forget to put that ground back in. Okay, do not forget to put that ground back in and then put your whole fuse, uh, um, air filter housing back together. Anyway guys, thank you for watching my video. 
Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like. And I got all the moss chains on this baby. And uh, make sure you look into that. Anyways, there you have it. Thank you for watching my video, guys. And don't forget to subscribe, share, and like again.